Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a tape diagram to show your thinking when solving addition or subtraction problems. Now the very cool thing about tape diagrams is they actually look the same whether you're adding or subtracting. You just need to know where to put the numbers. So let's start out with the fact family. 3 plus 7 equals 10. 7 plus 3 equals 10. 10 minus 7 equals 3 and 10 minus 3 equals 7. I can draw one tape diagram to show all of these problems. A tape diagram starts out with a long rectangle. No matter what kind of tape diagram you're doing, it's going to start like this. Now for this case, I have three numbers in each equation. I have two parts and one whole. Since I have two parts, I'm going to break my tape diagram into two boxes. And then I'm going to draw the bottom part to show my whole. Notice that in all of these four equations, we have the same two parts that make up a bigger whole. We're just writing it different ways. We have the parts of 3 and 7 making up the total 10. So even when I'm subtracting, my whole is 10. It's all of it put together. I have 10, and I can take away this 3, and I'm left with 7. Or I have 10, and I take away 7, and I'm left with 3. Or I can put together the 3 and the 7 to equal 10. So in any addition and subtraction problem, you're going to have two parts equaling one whole. Unless you have more parts. What if I had 2 plus 3 plus 4? equals 9. How many boxes would my tape diagram have? Right, 3, because I have 3 parts equaling 1 whole. Notice that your tape diagram only shows addition across the top. So you can check your work and make sure that you're correct by filling out the tape diagram and looking at the numbers. Let's say up here that I put 10 and 3 inside my tape diagram and 7 down here. Does 10 plus 3 equal 7? No, and so I know I've made a mistake and I need to go back and check my work. I hope that this was helpful for you in understanding tape diagrams for addition and subtraction. I hope to see you soon.